If you've been playing around with single board computers, you'll have a number of SD cards and flash drives that you formatted as boot drives, which you now can't read back in your PC. So let me show you how to fix these formatted SD cards. Hi and welcome to Bites and Bits and I do apologise for my nasal tones as I have got a bit of a cold at the moment. But as said in the intro there, um, we've all got these SD cards and flash drives which we've been using as boot drives when we've been loading operating systems into our various PCs and single board computers. Now, now quite often these are then left in a state where they're not actually readable back into your PC. And I did do a video a while back where we used a DOS program called Diskpart, which allowed us to get down to a low level to clean these SD cards out and then reformat them so they couldn't then reuse them as normal, as normal drives. Um, but this one here, which I, I was using a, a version of Puppy Linux when I was testing out some light distros, and, and that has formatted this as a Linux CD-ROM drive. And this just simply, I, I, I can't get my PZ to even recognise it. Uh, and this partition um, really is just having a bit of a problem getting hold of it and doing anything with it. So, um, in this video I'm going to show you how we can then get that back to a state where we can then actually recover it. Uh, and then turn it back into a usable hard drive, uh, a usable SD card, so that we can go off and then use it um, at another time. So let's first of all look at this one here uh, and see exactly what the problem is. Um, so if I, if I plug this then into my um, PC, if I come down here, and as you can see in my file explorer, that that is just not appearing as anything um, in in the system. So let's have a look at disk partition. So I, I need to open up a command prompt. I need to open that as an administrator. And when that opens up, um, again, I just type in the command disk part. And that starts up the disk part application. And I can now list the disks that it can see in the system. And you can see that, that we have that disk 3 down the bottom, which is actually my little USB drive. So if I select that and then list it out, um, I can then see that the, uh, the asterisk tells me that I'm now talking to disk 3. So I can have a look and see what partitions are on that. And again, there, there are no partitions at the moment. So let's try and create a primary partition on there and try and recover this disk. Now it does say that it has succeeded in that. So we can list it out and see if it actually thinks it has done that. And it does think that it has created that primary partition. So we should be able to format that now at this point. So if we do our format fs equals fat32, um, we, we get this error coming up. So perhaps we need to clean the disk. Um, but again, we're seeing there we're getting this access denied. So in effect, this, this disk is now, um, it just doesn't seem to be working. And again, if we try and find that partition, that partition's now disappeared. So there's definitely something wrong with this USB drive that disk partition can no longer access it. Now I did try a number of options to try and get this um, disk back under the PC's control. But the only way I could actually do that was to burn a new operating system boot disk over the top of it. One that I knew I could then recover using disk partition. Now you can really use whatever um, SD card burning software you want and whatever image you want, but you need to make sure that it's one that you know that you can get back to using disk part. So I happen to know that um, the Raspberry Pi images, or the ones that come with the Raspberry Pi imaging software, most of those um, all work, at least the ones I've tried out anyway. So let's open up the Raspberry Pi imaging software. And in this, I'm really just going to select an operating system which doesn't take that long to download. So if I do the RISC OS, you can see it's only a 0.1 gigabyte download. So let's burn that then onto our SD card. And after that's sort of gone through and verified itself, we should now find that we are back to a standard um, install disk. So if we go back into disk partition, we can then call that disk up again. And make sure we select the disk 3 so that we're talking to that. 
I can then list the partitions on that, and we can see we've now got this standard sort of couple of partitions, which are the operating system. So again, if I list that back out again, just to make sure that we are talking to disk three, I can now just do a clean. And this time our clean is succeeding. We can now recreate our primary partition. And now we should be able to format that. Um, and I'm going to do this now with the FSFAT32 um, file system. And I'm going to do a quick format just so it's a bit faster. So that gives a couple of seconds just to run through, but that should now be okay. So if we exit out of disk partition and then bring up the file explorer so that we can actually start looking at this disk. So we can see the disk has now appeared in my file system as just a standard USB drive. And if I go on there, I can try and create a new um, text file on that drive. And let's just, just rename that. Let's try opening that up um, and do a bit of editing. So as everything's opening up okay, we now have a blank file. So let's just type something into that. We can then resave that file and then exit out of Word. So that file should now be okay on there. So if we reopen it, and there we should find that there is our text. So everything now seems to be working and we have now got back to a working USB drive. So hopefully that will let you recover some of your, what were lost SD cards uh, and get them back into use again. Um, as always, if you've enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe to the channel and keep a watch out for my next videos. So I look forward to seeing you again soon and bye for now. For more games programming, electronics projects and retro gaming, please make sure you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my website.